Hey guys, it's Julia here, and in this video, I'm going to be restoring the original OEM image on my Surface Pro 6 because I wanted to see how my Surface was when I first got it, as well as I wanted to get the OEM image back. Now, I know that the original image this came with was 1803. I do have plans to upgrade it, though, so that way it'll be fine. And that's what I did originally when I had it. I always upgraded it, so I'm okay with upgrading it, but... There are newer images, but I want to see what it's like on my surface, so we are going to do that. So, as you guys can see, we are going to be creating it. So, I will put the links in the description for this if you want to do this on your surface. Now, if you do want to do this, I highly recommend you go with the latest image and not the oldest image like I'm doing. I just wanted to see what it was like, but I still plan to update it because 1803 is end of support and it's not recommended to be used. So anyway, we are going to be creating the USB. So we're doing for Windows 10, and then you'll go to the link here that says download a recovery image for your Surface, which I will leave a link in the description to that as well, in case you wanna you know, go to that obviously. It might be easier just to click one link. This just tells you about some stuff, but we're gonna scroll down. So, it says you'll need at least a 16 gig USB or eight gigs, depending on your model. Now I have a Surface Pro 6, so 16 gigs. However, my USB, if I open up this PC, it is 32 gigs, as you can see here, which I don't know why it's 32 gigs. That's, it shouldn't be 32 gigs. That's something's weird. I, I don't know. Maybe it's because I tried to do this earlier and I messed it up. I probably did, to be honest, because it told us to deselect something and I forgot to. Yeah, it halved it. Okay, that's really weird, but that's that's cool. So basically, you're going to go to the part where you select your surface. So I'm going to cover this because it shows the serial number and you are required to put your serial number in. So put your product and then your serial number. If you type this command that I'm showing in command prompt with admin, it'll give you your serial number and you can just type that in or copy it, which is what I did. So after you click continue on that, it will give you images. So these are all the images. There's images for 1803, 1809, 1903, 1909, 20H2, and 21H2. Again, recommended you download the latest if you're going to do this on yours because it's already up to date and stuff like that. It tells you that make sure it's turned on and plugged in. I already have it plugged in. And then you're going to search recovery drive. If I search recovery, it already pops up. So let's just do that. So click yes on that. Also, if you hear rain in the background, it is raining right now. So create a recovery drive, uncheck this box. That's where I messed up because it says here, it says right here, make sure to clear the backup system files of recovery drive checkbox. So I unchecked it. Be sure you uncheck that. You're supposed to uncheck that. And I made the mistake of leaving it checked last time. So I have to redo this. So there's USB, click next. It will erase everything, be sure it's backed up. There's nothing on this anyway. And now it's gonna create the drive. So I'm gonna let this create it and then I'm gonna come back when this is done. Okay, so I definitely did it wrong the previous time I did it earlier today because this took hours and now it only took like a minute or two and it was done. So I clearly did something wrong last time. So now that the drive is ready, it tells us to double click the recovery zip and select all the files from it and copy them to the USB drive that I created. So I'm going to open this. Yeah, that's a lot smaller. So I have the zip right here. I'm wondering if I should extract it first. Two hours? There's no way that's gonna take two hours. So it says it's gonna take two hours. Let's just extract it and then copy it. I think that's the problem. I'll just replace any files because it does say to do that anyway. All right, so it extracted. So we're going to do this. Control A and then we're gonna copy to recovery. And if it wants to replace files, I will just tell it yes, replace the files because I know some of them are already copied. But the reason I extract it is look how much faster it's going. It's highly recommend you extract the zip before you actually start transferring it to the USB because if you don't, 
it's gonna take a really long time to copy the files because it said it was gonna take like six hours or something. So guys, it wants to replace files, so it said to replace them. So let's just replace those files and then we should be able to boot this soon, which I did look at the instructions. I know how to do it. I did this before actually, but I used a 1909 image, I believe, because this was back in like May, 2020. I don't think they had a 2004 image yet. So we copied those over. All right guys, so we are going to boot the USB now. So basically we have to turn it off and then we have to hold the volume down button while it's powering on. And then once it prompts us for here, we go to troubleshoot, select recover from a drive. And then basically you tell it to recover. So remove the files, probably because fully clean would take hours. So, Let's do this. So if I, let's just shut it down. When the lighting goes off, we'll know it's shut down. Hold volume down and power. At the same time, let go of power, hold volume down. USB is pulsing though. So it might be booting it. Oh yeah, it is, definitely. So choose a language, English, US, US, and then we click troubleshoot, recover from a drive. And then we are going to just remove files because fully clean the drive will take several hours and I don't have several hours on my hands. And it's not like I'm getting rid of it or anything. So let's just click recover from a drive. Oh, everything will be removed. It'll just be reinstalled from the recovery drive connected. If you repartition partition it, it'll restore the default partition. That is fine. Do it. So it is recovering this PC. It's actually going pretty quickly, but you can see the USBs right there. It's currently recovering. It's at 14% already. So basically what it's doing is it's taking the factory image that we put on there and it is recovering it. I believe you have to create the recovery drive first just so it can boot something because I guess it's not contained in the zip. And then once you create it, you just copy the actual recover file over and then it recovers from that. So that's actually pretty cool and a pretty simple process. I'm honestly curious to see what my surface looks like at the factory again. Okay guys, so I'm back. I had to go to another area on the floor because it's raining a lot out there. And with the skylight, it's super loud. So I had to move areas so that you guys could see this. So it is getting devices ready, which is good. I guess it's working. It recovered because it got to 100, then it rebooted, and then it rebooted again, like immediately after. And then it started booting and doing the getting devices ready stage. It looks like the screen is dimming. You know, the good thing about the Surface Factory images is that it has all the drivers and I like that. You know, might as well put it back to like its factory settings because honestly my Surface has not been running well and I wanna see if the factory image runs better on it. Cause it used to run good when I first got it, but then it started like slowing down and like, just really having a lot of problems. So I wanted to see if this would help. All right, so it says welcome. I went back to my office because the rain calmed down. Now it says just a moment. It's gonna have Cortana speaking because this is Windows 10 Home, unfortunately. Oh, it actually has that. That's interesting. Continue in selected language. Yeah, I think I remember that when I got it. It's gonna speak, so let's just mute that. No, you don't get to speak. Now we can continue. Because I wasn't going to have the video wait for that. I'm going to just go through this quickly if I can. Skip. Accept. Because that's what it was named when I first got it. Actually, it might have been that cringy name, which I'm not going to mention. Because that name is just no. And no Cortana. And we'll see if the touchscreen works. It does work. Okay, cool. I'm going to uncheck all these. Yeah, I did. Okay, that's all of them. 
I didn't connect it to the internet because I also want to check device manager and I want to see if it has all the drivers, which it should because it's the factory image. I want to see how close this looks to when I got mine. So now it's going to go through its like high phase, high we're getting everything ready for you and all that stuff. This might take several minutes. Well, yeah. I mean, not really, but all right, we are almost there. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, wow. That actually does look like when I first got it. Wow. It has the surface background, which is cool. Let's see if it has the surface branding. Yes, it does have the surface branding and it does say Microsoft. So it doesn't particularly say like the model on here, but it does say the Surface logo over there. It is Windows 10 Home. It's not activated because it's not on the internet. That's not what I wanted. And it is 1803. And it does say the install date was today. That might have even been the same dot number when I got it. You know, I'm going to try and find older screenshots and I'll show them in this video of what the OEM image looked like, at least for me, the screenshots I had. I think they're the same because this looks identical to what was on it when I first got it. Like the background, everything looks identical in my opinion. I think it's exact. So that's actually really, really impressive if I have to be honest. I think I still, I still have the drive in, so I need to, you know, take that drive out, but yeah, this has the factory image on it. So basically I just did this for fun and to see what it looked like and because I wanted to see how it would run on it. I just wanted to put the original install back on it that it came with because I thought it would be more appropriate for it than just to clean install windows. And yeah, you can see it has every driver. Probably a very outdated graphics driver. Yeah, 2018. That's to be expected. I wonder if that's what the one it came with. You know, I think this is the same one. And the battery, it's on battery because the charger keeps having problems, but that's the least of my worries right now because I don't use this device often. Oh, it even has the surface tile. And, you know, I heard it comes with Office, too, because it has Office things installed. So, I do like this background, though. I'm actually going to keep this background for a while on it. I will probably run some updates on here, though, eventually, once I connect it to the internet, because, yeah, 1803 is, uh, you know, not supported anymore. I would have done 21H2, but I wanted just to see you know, the original. Although if I do restore it again, I probably will do the latest. So anyways, that is me restoring the original image on my Surface Pro 6, which it does look identical. It looks like I just got it. It's basically like it was completely factory reset. You know, I find it cool that Microsoft actually lets you download them. And they're not bloated either because they don't really come with much. They're very stock. That's not what I wanted. Their images are very stock. OneDrive and just the visual runtimes. It even comes with the runtimes. Not all of them, but some of them. I wonder why it actually does. I'm curious. And it comes with some of the Surface apps as well. And the drivers. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I'm going to head to bed now and edit this video probably for not this week, but probably next week because I'm probably going to start uploading on Mondays because that's the best time for me to upload videos now. I remember when I got my Surface, I got it back in November 2018 and it used to work great and then it just later on slowed down. I don't know why it just got really slow. I will say when I did have this on LTSC 2019, it did run well but I got rid of it and clean installed 21H2 because I wanted to see how it would run on that again. It started messing up again, but I mean, if it updates to it, it's fine. I just wanted it on the, you know, the main image, which it'll update. So even if it doesn't work the greatest, I don't do much on it anyway. I just watch videos and stuff on it mainly. 
that's really what I use it for nowadays. So anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'll have more videos coming soon. And bye-bye for now.